I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Break your Linton fast in the freedom of the gospel. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. What, 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 what is he doing? He's like, what is, uh, I don't know. Sunday, Sunday's coming. And I want you to do the craziest thing. I want you to break your fast. In the freedom of the gospel, I want you to break your fast. I want you, if you gave up carbs, I want you to eat some carbs. If you gave up candy, I want you to eat some candy. If you gave up meat, I want you to eat some meat. If you gave up coffee, I want you to love your neighbor and drink some coffee. Because the Lenten fast wasn't a self-improvement program. The Lenten fast was to fix your eyes on Jesus. And so the Sundays in Lent don't count. They're not fast days. And they're not fast days for this reason. Six days in the week, you beat your body into submission in order to get your body under control for the, to focus your attention on Christ. It is not just to improve yourself. That's great, but that's not what it's about. It's about telling your body, telling your spirit, telling the whole of you that these things aren't the boss of you. Jesus is the boss of you. That the, that the big deal is Christ, not you. And this isn't about you getting to become a better person. No. And this isn't, and if you're fasting from your sins, that you should just repent of them. So if, if what you gave up was a sin, that's not a fast. That's called being a Christian. But, but if you are fasting and you're fasting food and you're, or, or drink or something like that, then to the glory of God, to celebrate the resurrection of Christ. High five. Oh, look at this boy. To celebrate the resurrection of Christ, break your fast. Um, don't go hog wild. Uh, don't uh, pig out. Um, I suppose you could, but that's not the purpose of this. The purpose of this is to say to your body, um, my body's raised from the dead. And this fast thing is an Easter thing. And you know what Sunday is? Sunday's a little Easter. So what I'm going to do on this day in which I'm celebrating the resurrection of Christ in church is I'm going to break my fast. I'm going to be free to fast during the week and be free to break my fast on the weekend. Well, it doesn't feel like fasting if you're going to do it on Sunday. Well, this was not about feeling. This was about Jesus. Jesus for you. Jesus crucified for you. Jesus raised from the dead for you. And so the Lenten fast is, is, is all those things which you gave up are to focus your attention on Christ. And then when you don't fast on Sunday, that focuses your attention on Christ too. Think about it. Break your fast on Sunday. I'm giving you permission. It's what the Lenten fast is all about. But be free enough to break that fast on Sunday. And let me know how it goes in the comments. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.